morning you guys welcome back we are in my kitchen and I'm a mess because I'm gonna be painting today so I am not getting ready um, I've got my painting clothes on and we're gonna get started on this kitchen makeover you guys can tell from the title of this video just a little quick backstory before we get started we just bought our house eight months ago nine months ago and it's brand new so these cabinets are brand new and they are very nice we did love the color of the cabinets when we bought our house, when we moved in, and obviously we've lived with them for the last eight or nine months. Um, but we've kind of just decided that we want to go with the style that we love, which is more on the farmhouse, modern farmhouse side of decor. So we have decided to paint our cabinets in our kitchen white and do a shiplap backsplash. I'm also going to be spray painting all of the hardware a dark, gray black color um in the previous vlog i shared all of the supplies that i got but i will be sharing with you again what i'm going to be using i have painted cabinets before and just done liquid sandpaper primer and then an enamel paint and it has worked out well so that's the route we are going to go again so we're going to go ahead and get started buckle up this is going to be a big project Lights out, hearts beating faster in a minute I'm high on slow dancing with you One, two, three, keep The first thing that I went ahead and did was take off all of the hardware and then remove the cabinet doors from the cabinets and I decided to leave the hinges on our cabinets when I was getting ready to paint them because the hinges go in the back of the cabinets so you can't see them from the outside and they were going to be really easy to paint around so I didn't bother taking the hinges off so that saved me a little bit of work but I'm also keeping everything pretty organized with the different screws in different bowls. Once I was done at taking off all of the hardware and the cabinet doors, I went in with my liquid sandpaper and wiped down every single surface that I was going to be painting. This stuff is great to kind of scuff up the surface instead of sanding and it says right on the label that it is great for kitchen cabinets and I've used this, like I said, many times before and I just prefer it over sanding. It saves a lot of time and work and it works really well in my opinion. Once I was done wiping down the entire kitchen with the liquid sandpaper, I'm going in with my primer now and it is the Kills 2 All Purpose Interior Exterior Primer. And I am going to prime all of the surfaces that I'll be painting. And if I have to give you guys only one tip, if you take only one thing away from this whole entire video, it is to make sure that you degloss whatever surface you're gonna be painting by either sanding or using liquid sandpaper and make sure you prime primer changes the whole game. If you just go and slap some paint on your cabinets, it's definitely going to chip and peel off. So you have to degloss and you have to prime. But now we're just gonna continue on priming all of the surfaces that I'm gonna be painting. I did decide to paint the underneath side of the cabinets just because I felt like every time I took pictures in my kitchen of anything on my countertops you could see the underneath part and it was a different color so I really wanted the underneath part to match the outside part so that way like even just sitting on my couch looking into my kitchen I can see under my cabinets and that kind of drove me crazy that it was a different color so I went ahead and primed underneath so I could paint under there too. When you call my name, make me lose my game. When you call my name, I go crazy. Cause I can't escape 
The base of all the cabinets. I ended up putting primer on the ends of these just because it was driving me nuts that it was dark, but it's still getting covered in shiplap. But I just finished priming in the kitchen. This will happen tomorrow. I'll prime these tomorrow, but it's only 5:30 in the evening. Donnie's taking care of dinner tonight for the kids. I don't. He's gonna go pick something up. So I'm gonna continue on. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start painting the actual paint now. The paint that I'm using on my cabinets is by Bear from Home Depot. It is the urethane alkyde semi-gloss enamel for wood, metal, doors, trim, and cabinetry. And the color I'm using is white number 3900-N. This is a semi-gloss paint and that makes for easy cleanup and wiping things down. And after working with this paint, I really do recommend it and I like it a lot. My friend Danielle from the channel Daniela Diaries used this in her kitchen to paint her cabinets and she recommended it to me and I definitely recommend it to you guys if you guys are wanting to paint your cabinets. Okay, so I've gotten the first coat of the paint on the whole part around the fridge and the pantry um, down to like here. So, and then I started working on this right here, you can see where it ends, but I can already tell I'm definitely gonna have to do two coats of the white paint. You can definitely still see some like streaky dark spots, but I'm not gonna film, montage film this whole process of me putting the first coat of paint on just cause you guys just watched me film this entire deal of primer. So it's basically, the same thing so once i'm done with the first coat i will check in with you guys and then let you know how things are how things are progressing I'll give you another update here in a bit all right i just finished up the whole first coat on everything except for the baseboards down here um i might do this one right here but i can't get under these drawers because i can't push them in all the way so i might just hold off on those but the first coat is done on everything in here now. It's 10 19. All right, you guys, it's 11 50. I'm gonna call it a night. I got the second coat done on this half of the kitchen. So all of this has a second coat done. Oh, I'm so excited, it looks so good. But there are a couple places I feel like I'm gonna caulk where there's like a gap in the like molding in the cabinet so i do have some paintable caulk so i'll probably do that at some point but all of this over here has the second coat on it so much work i'm beat you guys i'm beat i'm a mess uh so much work but it's gonna be so worth it so um that's gonna be it for 
tonight. I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. I have changed my painting clothes into other painting clothes, but this is what you're getting today. There is no point in getting ready when I'm literally gonna be painting all day today. So it's 10 o'clock in the morning and I have been working on the kitchen since about nine. Um, so far I have touched up these bottom cabinets over here. There's a few little spots. Covering dark cabinets is really hard, you guys. So I'll have to do the second coat on the trim down there, but I did the first coat and I need to like touch up the edges. It's really hard to do even with painter's tape. Um, and I just finished getting the second coat on this upper section. So now I just need to do the second coat down here on these, but I put the hardware back on and like put some things out where they go, you know? Um, there's gonna be shiplap backsplash, so there's like paint and stuff that you can see on the wall. But I think I like the hardware as is. I'm kind of thinking now that I'm not going to spray paint it. But anyways, back to painting. I will check in with you guys later at some point. Once I was done with the inside portion of priming and painting, I was able to start on the cabinet door. So I ended up taking those out to the garage and then eventually outside into the driveway. But I'm starting off the same process again with the liquid sandpaper and then primer. It was actually really warm outside and I was too hot in leggings so I switched to shorts and a tank top and now we're going to start priming. Okay, I just want to give you guys a little update. I decided to do two coats of primer on the cabinets because inside I only did one coat of primer and it was really hard to cover with the paint. So this is two coats of primer. You can see the difference right here. Two coats primer versus one coat. So we are doing two coats primer on all these cabinet doors and I've only done the front so far. So I have a lot of work to do, but it's gonna make it easier to paint with two coats of primer. All right, Donnie's home from work. He got plywood for the shiplap. So he's gonna cut these into five inch strips and we're gonna do five inch shiplap on the end of the pantry cabinet and the end of the cabinet by the sliding glass door. So. He's getting ready to cut that stuff. Okay, all of this has two coats of primer on both sides now. And Donnie has been hanging ship up in the house on the end of the pantry he actually just left to go pick up pizza for dinner but this is what we got going on that's going to be white shiplap but we just did quarter inch plywood cut into strips and we did them five inches and then you just put a nickel at the end of each one for your spacer so we have a nickel nickel gap is what we have always done for like all of our shiplaps so 
that's shiplap there so i'll paint that and then that's going to be the same thing on the end of this cabinet so while i wait for the primer to dry on the cabinet doors out in the driveway i'm going to start painting the shiplap but i wanted to mention if you're using plywood for shiplap you should definitely just take like a sanding block and sand down the plywood once you have it up on the wall just to smooth it out because plywood is like kind of rough so smooth it out a little bit and then put your paint on there and it will be smooth perfect shiplap shiplap is a breeze after spending the last two days painting cabinets you guys okay so shiplap is painted white I love it so much calling it a night it's 8 30 I've literally been painting for two days straight you want to say hello hi hi um I got both sides of the cabinets double coat primed I got the front side of the cabinets, first coat of paint. Good morning, you guys. Day three. We just had breakfast, and I've got more painting clothes on because we have more painting to do. I have to do the back side of the cabinet doors now. They're out in the garage. Um, so my plan is to do the back side and then um, let those dry while I do a second coat on the shiplap here. And I have to bake some cookies today because we are going to a barbecue tonight. Today is 4th of July. Hopefully then I will be able to put the cabinet doors back on and just do any touch-ups I need to do in here. Got all the cabinets out in the driveway again, laid out. And Donnie's working on cutting shiplap for the end of this cabinet here. Okay, so I just finished caulking along the top of here and down this side. Um, this is what I've been using, this Alex Fast Dry uh, for paint projects. You can paint it and like within 20 minutes it's dry. So I just did that. I wish I would have showed you guys before, but there was a really big gap right there. Um, I also caulked around that molding piece on this edge because there was a gap. And then there was a couple, actually I think earlier, a couple days ago or yesterday or something, I showed you that there was like a couple little gaps right here in the cabinet and the molding. So anywhere where there was a little gap like that, I just put some caulk, ran my finger over it. Um, yeah, the cabinets are out in the driveway drying. So I'm gonna probably get those up here in the next hour, hang them, and then touch up paint on those. But I have some cookies to make for a party that we're going to. So I am going to make um, oatmeal cream pies out of the Magnolia Table Volume 2. They're super easy and super good. So I'm gonna make a batch of these to take with us to our 4th of July barbecue. Hello, you guys. It is day four. We went to a barbecue last night for the 4th of July, so much fun. So we were only home until about uh, two o'clock yesterday, so we didn't get a whole lot done. But I did get the cabinet doors put back up. I have a sink full of dishes over there that I need to do, so don't mind that. But this is what we are looking like now. So we did the shiplap here. I need to caulk the cracks in this wood right here and put another coat of paint on uh, both ends but I got all of the hardware and the doors put back on. So here's where we're at now. I need to touch up some things on all of the cabinet doors, including caulk. So I have to caulk all of these cabinets because there's this gap here and then just do like a touch up coat of paint. So I'll probably work on that this week at some, like look at that right there. 
That's gonna drive me crazy. What we've decided to do, so originally we were gonna do shiplap backsplash in the whole entire kitchen, but now we're thinking that that might just be like overkill. And then right here is all gonna be shiplap. Um, where that tile is, but that's all we're gonna do for now. I need to touch up some paint up there um, But that's all we're gonna do as far as the backsplash for now And then if we decide to do the whole thing shiplap eventually then we will but for right now We're only gonna do shiplap right here in that square and then the island um, I was going to paint it white and we were gonna do shiplap with these like X's, you know like the barn wood looking like X's I've got glow sticks all over the place and I just moved this rug out of the kitchen because we're gonna work on that backsplash. But I think we've decided to keep the island dark. We kind of like how it ties in with like all of our doors in here and whatnot. And then also like up above these lights, there's the same wood color, same with above the hood. There's that wood. Our shelves are that wood. Every time I point the camera this way, it gets really dark. Um, but our shelves are that same dark wood. So what we're thinking is putting shiplap on it um, on these three sides and then staining it the same stain that we used on those shelves because it matches this wood. So then we won't have to do anything to the front side. We can just leave the drawers how they are. I think that's the plan. We just sat here this morning and talked about what we're gonna do. So we're gonna do the shiplap uh, behind the stove and I was getting a lot of questions about that like on Instagram when because I've been kind of like sharing as I go um, We had shiplap behind our stove at the farmhouse and I just used like a high gloss paint on it to make for like easy cleanup like when stuff splatters so That's the plan There anyways, I am super happy with it So is Donnie like it's we woke up and we were just like oh, I just want to like sit here and stare at the kitchen It looks so Good, I love it. So we are gonna get to work on that ship up here and I will update you guys when it's done. Okay, putting um, a bead of caulk in the seams was literally a game changer. You guys just saw what it looked like before. Um, I actually ran out of caulk, so I need to get more. But you can see the difference here. That seam versus no seam over here. Johnny's cutting shiplap for the backsplash above the oven and we're doing a penny gap for that. We actually decided instead of taking the tile down um, and potentially like messing up the drywall behind it, we are gonna do the shiplap with um, liquid nails. I was watching a couple of videos on YouTube and I saw some other people do this like in their whole entire kitchen with shiplap so we're gonna go ahead and do that in here so yeah that's the way that we're gonna do it he's cutting the last piece that's gonna go like here on the very bottom and he's gonna start in the bottom and go up and we're just gonna do this section right here for now like I was telling you guys with shiplap and then we'll decide later if we want to do the rest of the kitchen shiplap we shall see but for now that's what we're gonna do Liquid nails, penny gap. Usually we do a nickel gap, but I wanted this gap to be a little bit less since that tile is under it. So these two bottom cabinets right here, I obviously I caulked this whole side of the kitchen, the seams in the cabinet. So I caulked all of that and um, these two right here, I have gotten another coat of paint on. I took the hardware off and just painted these. I'm kind of just like slowly working on doing another coat of paint since I caulked the seams. I'm super excited. Look at my watch line, my tan line for my Apple watch. I also just put, well, like 40 minutes ago, I just put that pot roast in, in the Dutch oven. I'm doing the uh, Sunday pot roast from the volume two Magnolia table cookbook. As you guys can tell, these are my current favorite cookbooks. nails and we're also doing some actual nails like into these trim pieces into the cabinets like sideways in just for good measure so Donnie's like nailing them in at an angle so they go into this trim 
So I'm gonna caulk the sides of this. Okay, you guys, I need to go ahead and wrap up this video, but I wanted to quickly just show you the kitchen. I have added a few decor pieces. Um, I have dishes in the sink and I'm getting ready to start dinner. So it's a mess in here, but I wanted to just show you what I have done, tell you our plans and things that we still need to do and just wrap up this video. So as you can see, the island is still dark. Our plan for the island, I think I told you guys that we are going to shiplap it, but do it uh, stained. We're gonna do like stained wood. Um, and I was just talking to Donnie and I think what we're gonna do is like different color stain and then kind of like whitewash it a little bit so it looks like rustic. Um, but then leave the drawers on the front as they are so we don't have to do any more painting um, and kind of like anchor, like ground the kitchen a little bit and it, you know, it ties in the countertops and um, the wood here and the wood here and all that. So that's the plan for the island. Um, that's gonna happen in the next couple of weeks. That's the plan for that. Um, we are going to be putting trim down, like quarter round trim on the ends here and then throughout the kitchen. I still have not finished painting the baseboards in here. I need to get around to doing that. But I also still have to finish putting a second coat of paint on all of the cabinet doors. Not the drawers, but the cabinet doors. Because um, though the doors I did outside, which I told you guys about. So um, this whole side has been caulked, but... These two are the only ones that have a second coat of paint on them after caulking the seams. Um, so we need to do that. Uh, there's some spots where I need to touch up the paint. Um, what else? I'm gonna get a sign to go up here of some sort. I want one that says like farmer's market or something like that. I've added these hooks here. Those are from Amazon. Um, these cutting boards are from Home Goods. This is from Hobby Lobby and then I've added this piece from Hobby Lobby, Target. Uh, this is an Amazon planter with a jade plant. I think I got this jade at Home Depot. Um, this is from Target, just like a storage container, and we're using it as a cookie jar. I'm getting ready to make chicken parmesan for dinner. Um, the wreath I already had, I think it's from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. The Let's Eat I just got and that is from Hobby Lobby. And then this cake stand, I wanna get some sort of greenery to put in it. Um, this is from Home Goods. And then, yeah, that's, I think that's it. That's all I've added. So, that is, that's what's going on in the kitchen. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video, but I am so stinking excited with how it turned out. And I will keep you guys posted when we finish the island. I'll just probably vlog that day and like, show you guys but I didn't want to wait to put out this video you know until we finish that because that could be like another week or two so I figured I would just finish it up and let's show you guys I could be who you want because I know that I need to be happy too and then things turn to dust when I bluff just to mess up and tell the truth all I hear is an echo turn the words of say to ammo so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed watching us totally change the whole entire look of our kitchen simple updates and i want to say this whole project all of the supplies for this project costs under 200 dollars for the paint and the wood for the shiplap since we just used plywood um so that's pretty dang good for a whole like kitchen makeover and that's not counting like the decor that i added obviously but like the actual paint and stuff like that so anyways thank you guys again i hope you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did i am so happy with this kitchen and so is donnie we were just standing here like oh, this kitchen was meant to be white it was meant to have white cabinets oh i just love it so anyways i will see you guys in my next video bye